Making an achievement system in Unity is quite easy. So let's get started, right? So as you can see here, we have some achievements that are fully customizable from the sounds to the display of the icon to even the text. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, I have a basic layout uh, for the UI. Basically, I have an area, which is the achievement area, uh, which just contains a list uh, which encloses all of the achievements prefab. If I drag and drop this here, and as you can see here is the template achievement. Okay, but we can obviously delete that for now. We'll look at it later. And here are the buttons to trigger the achievement. One for cool it down and another for the drink soup. Uh, I just made two template script that takes in the achievement scriptable object, uh, as you can see here, all right, with the customizable parameters and then it just triggers an event delegate that we will see in a few. And as for the actual achievement object, if we double click this, we can see that we have different uh, elements. So we have the icon, which can be customized, the title, the description, and also an audio source that will play the sound that you want. All right, so let's get to the coding side of things. Starting off with the achievement scriptable object, which contains all the data of the specific achievements. Then here we have the achievement card, which contains a reference to the UI elements that we need, as well as some parameters to control the fading in and out of the actual achievement. And here are the methods that just displays everything in the UI. And here, as you can see, we fade it in uh, using this coroutine wait for a couple of seconds and then fade out and that's it now moving on to the actual achievement manager script which as you can see contains a delegate that we can call to trigger an achievement and here it takes in the achievement script object as a parameter and then when this is triggered it just instantiates a new achievement to the uh, list that we have in unity and then just initializes it and here is the build cooler. Uh, same thing applies for the um, drink soup script, uh, which basically just contains a method that can be called to trigger this achievement, as you can see. So we now have reached the end of today's video. And once you actually link everything, you should be able to replicate this kind of achievement system. So if you guys found this video helpful, Please don't forget to check the description box down below uh, because this asset will be made available on the Unity Asset Store. So keep an eye for this. And also leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. And don't forget to watch my other videos. And yeah, so on this note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.